All right, so let's try this again. Uh, if there's anybody out there, which I don't think there is, let us know how our audio is. We'll get them back. They checked out, bro. <laughs> they checked out. They're Good like, thing. no, no, no. This is an every no. week thing. We're out. No, no, no. No just told us that Twitch messed up. No, this was a Streamlabs messed up. Yeah, this, this was actually the program. This was a software. So, Mama Bear, if it's working, let me know. I, I listened to it. I heard our glorious voices. Woo! Not, not good enough? Well, I mean, we thought it was good before we went live, too, so... <laughs> it was, for all intents and purposes, it was. It's good on our end. Just, to, just to not on fair, our end. To be fair, Google to Meets fair. is working. To be fair. Just, just great. Yay, Google didn't fuck something. I mean... <laughs> Well, anyway, so back onto the discussion. So back into uh, it. Jay, what are you yard been doing? Work, yard work, regular work, all sorts of boring shit. Work, 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 work. Working on a video to put on YouTube, but I'm just so tired after work. I just don't have the energy to edit. I feel that. Yeah. What have you been up to? So me, I've been, uh, I worked, I've been playing Got into zombies with Bren. Me and Bren have been doing called Cold War Zombies. Um, well, we did it one night, but we pay, I picked it up. So, plan on doing a couple nights of that. Um, I'm gonna be picking up Monster Hunter Rise here soon because that game just looks really good. Disappointment, but whatever. I. <sighs> what? What, Bren? I have a problem. Well, we look we... like just additions. We know. We know. <laughs> Well, first like I have off, room I, to talk. I, I missed my it. I missed my chance to pick one up for a reasonable price. It was a hundred and five. It was a hundred and five dollars on Amazon, and I didn't grab it. Now it's up to a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty. I don't know. I mean, it's the the statue is an amiibo, and that's not my issue. My issue is they want to do this four player open, kind of open. I don't know how big the maps are compared to uh, world. You'd figure world would be more open, yes. Um, it but... wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, expeditions, I mean, you can just go out and run around the map. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. When you were trying to play with your buddies and you gotta go, oh, wait, let me watch this cutscene real quick before I can add you to the hunt. And you gotta go through like 20, 30 minutes of bullshit. You're just sitting in a party like so what are you doing waiting on you all right i'm trying to get through it <laughs> what about now um i think i'm almost done have you seen this no you're not even close <clears throat> god motherfucker. so what was and it that we bought my, high my role, the monster hunter hyrule warriors yeah split screen the console can barely handle me and my daughter being relatively far away from each other mm -hmm. without having massive frame drops how can this steadily handle a four player because well, you, because it, it's like how the stadia works it actually goes through the servers it doesn't rely on the nintendo's hardware stock well it's not running it. like multiple players from one system as it's a single player right, system but it, so it still has to on render it. them onto my screen but it's whenever you're playing multiplayer like with with your daughter it's rendering two separate points of the map at the same time Whereas it's only rendering your point of the map, it and, and where you're at. Your rent, what you're talking about, render based, is off the server. It's not off a of hardware. Yeah, like a lobby. Okay. I mean, if they can get Fortnite to work on there, I'm sure that they could get Monster Hunter to work on there. And Apex. And Apex, yeah. First of all, I've watched my daughter play a plenty of Fortnite on the Switch. It is. She probably builds better than listen, me. Listen, listen, listen. I had to come down off my throne of the PlayStation 5. Okay. <laughs> and watch this. And watch this. And it was... It it hurt. It hurt. Yeah, it bet. hurt visually to look at it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, but my daughter... But my daughter... Into that it. nice, smooth 30 frames per second. 
Yeah. Five Seven PC. twenty. <laughs> you can have all yeah. the fork knife in a quality ten eighty P or four K. Right. Oh my god, you said quality. And ray tracing. You, they got you ray said, tracing. You said quality and equality is what I heard. <laughs> um we can talk about that later. So I I've, I've been watching <laughs> I've been watching I don't, know, I don't know if my daughter or the dog hit the door because I was just making fun of Fortnite. <laughs> Someone just got hurt. Why well, the dog do it? Well the dog probably because she wants in. Oh. It makes sense. Yeah. She doesn't like being locked out. And then no she gets in there and doors. Doesn't, like scratch at the fucking door, like, let me out. No more locked I, doors. I, I, I mean, it's the wife's office door, so she's going to have to fight her mother about that one. No more yeah. baloney sandwiches. <clears throat> my, my pups just sit here and attack each other. Nice. Synergy, what's Synergy. up, buddy? Um, Sin, what's up? So I've been staying current with uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Hmm. I like that show a lot, actually. Um... And talking about that, I actually went back and started watching the second season of Altered Carbon, because I never watched the second season. Mm -hmm. And Anthony Mackie. Yeah. Well, is that who Sam is in Winter Soldier? Yeah. Alana with more bits, forty-five bits. Forty-five corgi bits. The corgis. The corgi bits are the best bits. We appreciate it. Um, everybody's on this new marvel stuff and i i don't know i just yeah falcon is really good i i i i thoroughly enjoy it um but did you have either of you guys watched altered carbon no Dude, i heard about it it is great i'm telling you guys to watch it because like it it, it like you kind of get a gritty side of sam in falcon Oh, Jay redeeming hydrate so he could just drink. <laughs> Dude, I have like 24k points. Oh. Uh, well, listen. If if you want to talk about An Anthony Mackey, there's a movie he did with um who Mark Wahlberg. Okay. About being uh they were lifters. They were gym nuts and they killed someone. Oh yeah, um, I, I can't rock in it. Yeah. Oh god, I can't remember. But the movie is fucking hilarious. It, it Anthony Mackey is obsessed with improving himself. That he goes down to the science of buying a woman's pumped breast milk. <laughs> and the, and your wife with a hundred bits. He gave us a hundred bitties. And it's a pumping heart. That's cute. A pumping heart. It just blew up the cup, right? Is this still pumping? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's creepy. Uh. We looking up the movie because I'll look yeah, it up. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. That was, that was the the earliest thing I could find Anthony Mackie in. Big old days. And, and I just, it, like Jay said, it was so hilarious. I couldn't stop watching it. I mean, he's been in 70 things. Uh, he's, yeah, he's been in a lot of shit. I still. Phoenix with the gifted subs. Oh, shit. Thank you, um, Phoenix. Oh, it's Phoenix. Gifted two pain synergy. And, it's pain Thank and you. gain. That's what it is. Pain and gain. Yeah, yeah, pain yeah. And pain and gain. Yeah. Oh my god, I was dying. What up, Big Poppy? How you doing, buddy? Yeah. Pa Pain and Gain is, is a hilarious movie. And what's funny is they got sued because they're like, you glorified those people when they're like, it's a movie. <laughs> like, if you didn't have someone as, dear as endearing as The Rock, it wouldn't have been as good. Like, his whole character was like this big, like big buff dude but he was as gentle as they could be he couldn't do anything well you do know that was an eight mile right <laughs> who rock no anthony, anthony Mackie. oh yeah that's papa doc yeah papa doc 
That's one of the earliest real things he's Clarence. done. Clarence. Yeah, right? Clarence lives at home with both parents. And Clarence's parents have a real nice marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I could uh, do that whole fucking rap battle. Just give me the beat. <laughs> so, yeah, I was watching... I've been watching all, the second season of Altered Carbon. Staying up on that. I'm two, two episodes into WandaVision, and it hasn't grabbed me yet, man. It's hard. I'm hoping it gets better. Kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, when he died, or when <laughs> the stone that was in his head, or as hard as the loss as one took it. Oh god! <laughs> Think she's lot. so special because she lost someone, right? Tony lost Spider-Man. All right, in his arms. You're not wrong. He still went. He still went home. Bang Pepper had an adorable child. WandaVision gets so good. Okay, I'll, I'll keep up on it then. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, the, the real good stuff is the last couple episodes. All right, all right. It, it's, it's, it's all a hill. It, it's building. Well, like the second, the second, see, the second episode, they uh, it's like at the end of it when they go into cl the color. So I get like they're going through the decades or the generations or whatever. Um, yeah. But it's just well, been yeah. so fucking boring. Like, the first episode was a dinner party with his boss. Like, this was literally 60s TV. Like, I'm, uh... Well, they want uh, you to pick up on things. Like, did you notice, like, she just stared at her? Like, what what, what are we doing? Like, what should we do? What do you, what do you want to happen? Yeah. And the guy built it up. Yeah, I'm loving to see me able to see chat on screen. You like that? <laughs> whole thing looks great clean cut beautiful can't give you that instant gratification but i need it right I, I mean that that's marvel that's all they do they they give you something and then at the end they give you a little sneak peek of what's to come pop and... in a stan lee cameo when it was alive <laughs> bam, boom, you got million dollar formula yeah plus who can't love an olsen sister um <laughs> hey 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 a clean Olsen There sister. we go. There we go. But you don't like Wanda? Nah. No interest at all. Not even a little bit. Fair enough. Uh, not even a little. Not, <laughs> not even a tingle? <laughs> not even a tingle. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been watching that. Uh, Solid in the original Scarlet Witch costume. Went, eh, look better on someone else. Uh, <laughs> give us the Gal Gadot. <laughs> um. I mean, so yeah, other than that, just been working, uh, reading a book. There's Sergi, a shocker. Sergi's about to. Sergi's about to snap. Yeah, right. I can feel it. I can feel a disturbance in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bren, what have you been? What have you been up to? Um. For some reason, I've been into Genshin Impact. Um, I'm one level away from being able to do co-op stuff on that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I'm adventure rank 15 or 16 or whatever it is. 17. I don't know. I think you need 16 to do open world stuff. Yeah. Uh... Call of Duty with you and another one of my buddies every now and again. I'm, I'm um, still hearing like you've you've been replaced, Jeff. That's that's all I keep hearing every time I hear Call of Duty. Well, Jay, I can't help it that you're always busy. Yeah, you don't make I'm the time for us. I'm on PlayStation, so I can't see when you're on. I don't think we're that. I, I, <laughs> I don't think we're Activision friends. Well, whose fault that? Listen, I'll tell you like I told Rob and his buddy on Facebook. You show me a PC that can do what the PS5 does for five hundred dollars. You show me a PS5 I, for five hundred dollars right now. Just keep checking online like uh, I did. Nope, nope, because they already said that April and May is gonna be super, super tough to get a PlayStation Five or an Xbox. Like it wasn't already. Even harder. It's going to be even harder than launch. They said. Oh god. So for the next two months. I don't. I. I don't. Hey. I. I. I don't care. I got mine. Yeah. 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 
I got mine and I got all my accessories. Mm -hmm. How much you spend all on all that? Five, I don't know, seven, seven fifty. For all of it? Yeah. Okay. And then when the VR headset VR comes out, you're gonna get that too? Mm, quite possibly. You you also get the Sony back massager? I'll, I'm gonna go Sony get the Sony, the Sony <laughs> I'm gonna go get the Sony X nine fifty H T V that was meant for the PS5. Yeah. To be honest, if they if they give you a slipper that you put your foot <laughs> into and it like massages your foot to make you think you're walking in VR. <laughs> All I'll right, let's, let's, I'm on board. Let's do it. And I'll it, buy them. And whenever you put your foot in, it makes the like when the PlayStation comes on, it makes that sound. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Brent is our PlayStation Five yeah. correspondent. He is our Sony Brent, pony. Pretty, pretty yeah. much, Max. I am. No, I have, I have no shame in that either. <laughs> and I think Rob should get the Xbox because I can't go back to console. The the house Phoenix. I I, I might have a harder time convincing the wife for that one <laughs> see the way his check-ins and his savings is set up <laughs> yeah see the, the the way my check-in savings you gotta look man i'm trying just put the card in a bag and then try to re-swipe <laughs> it'll it'll work, it'll work. <laughs> put it, just dust it off on your pants yeah w wipe it off D j just bring me the machine i'll do it <laughs> by the way when you know you have a broke ass card that won't be like that can only be used chip wise and they try swiping it you feel so bad that so they're like swiping it and you're like no i'm just i'm lazy i'm not buying the new card right now like just put the chip in we don't have a reader then punch it in stop making me feel bad I, money's in the account trust me i checked my balance before i even walked in here yeah i have uh, six months into getting my my last debit card it started giving me errors on the card on the chip reader not the chip reader the the magnetic strip their <laughs> tesla looks like a playstation 5 the cyber truck that's gonna be it. <laughs> and and they're gonna put in live audio did you guys hear about that with tesla <laughs> no they're gonna put in a computer that allows you to talk with other tesla cars oh that's nice weird. nice Dude, i'll be fucked with people so hard and 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 the biggest comment from that <clears throat> was road rage is about to look like a cod lobby <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I will 1v1 you Tesla no scope you. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine if you could sit there and just hit a button and, and like be able to accept a dual request like you could need for speed. And then all of a sudden your Teslas are transported to your own roadway. Well, see, it would come up on screen and it would just be a drag strip on the, the big 25 inch screen that they have in the yeah, center console. Yeah, just be the two Teslas like just fucking racing it out. Well, they have like an arcade mode in it that as long as the car is off, you use the steering wheel as the like analog stick. And Don't you, do that motion again. And you uh, use the gas and brake as like buttons. So yeah, you can completely. Well, I mean, Jay, milk the if, cow, you know. Milk the cow. <laughs> if you if you remember Rob's birthday stream from the other year. <laughs> uh, fuck you, ever... bro. Hey, hey, hey. At least I use incognito. <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about, and there's no proof that you do either. No, just a lot of shit we could talk. All made up. It isn't real. The professor was there. He made it real. <laughs> what is he like, Xavier? He made it real oh, with no, his Miko. mind. He made it real with his mind. Mika was there. I know. I'm just saying. Hundred percent legitimizes anything he's a part of. <laughs> Watching. Uh, keeping up on falcon um my daughter likes this uh teenage mystery show we found on disney plus <clears throat> it's the secret of sulfur springs very interesting rob lexi might like it if she likes suspense stuff nope. oh basically this kid moves to this his dad moves them back to this old town where the hotel that they used to go to summer camp at when he was a kid, the son finds a bunker in the basement that's a portal to 30 years in the past. Hmm. And it's about this little girl that went missing when his dad was a kid. And his dad knows something and is hiding it. So the kid uses the bunker to try to figure out what happened. 
I see. I remember watching a Disney movie like family. that. There, I think it was a Disney movie where like the kid goes through a thing and it's a portal and it takes him to this like orphanage and when he's at the orphanage the 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 headmistress of the orphanage can stop time because they're the the orphanage gets like bombed and every night she has to stop time and reverse it miss peregrine yeah that's it mm. mia's obsessed with that movie too wasn't it like for peculiar ch children or something yeah Mi miss peregrine's house for peculiar children never saw the, it the one little girl has a monstrous like monster jaw on the back of her head and that's how she eats. She picks up a drumstick, lifts her hair, and puts it back there. Awesome. Yeah. We just got Shutter, the app for horror movies. Oh. I was like, Come wait, on. wait, wait. Is the that. audio is the audio fucking up again? Is that what you're saying? No. Don't tell me that. Don't tell no, me that. Shutter. You got Rob freaking out. You got Rob <laughs> freaking out already. No, nobody said it's 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 bad. We're good. <laughs> oh no, we're not tough. again. And I mean, it is a Tim Burton movie, so yeah. Me. Which I'm quite surprised it's not Hella, Helena Bonham Carter that stars in it. And nope. Johnny Depp. Nope, it's Eva Green. Eva Green. I love her, dude. Mm -hmm. What was that that show she did on uh, show, uh, Stars or Showtime? Uh, Penny Dreadful. Yes. Well, I mean, she was in Sin City, um, 300. 300 uh i saw the first time i ever saw her was in actually in the first movie she did it was like a french foreign film like an indie film the piano oh, teacher really? not that well that was her first film okay well it was like right and after it, that she was real young it was and she was la piette amir de walter it was it had this really weird brother <laughs> Picked up some dude and <laughs> oh, Paris. I know where I, weird. I know what the first time I seen her. What? Kingdom of Heaven. I've heard of that, but I've never you've seen never it. seen Kingdom of Heaven? Nope. I've never seen it. I've never heard of it. Oh my god! Ridley Scott directs it, and it's basically like knights, and it's almost like a King Arthur story. Hmm. Huh. It's pretty good. And then, of course, she was in Casino Royale. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't watch James Bond movies. A hater. A hater. Oh, he's a hater. I thought you said you hate her. Wait, why no, you hate her? What did she do to you? No, I need to actually pick up all the James Bond movies on Blu-ray. I need right. to do that at Connery. So, now that we got that out of the way... We can move on to our little bit of news topics. Boom. And which rolls right over to a game that we were just talking about. Monster Hunter Rise. It's 5 million units shipped worldwide. 5 million. With a million. Sharks with freaking lasers. Which they say it is rapidly catching up to Monster Hunter World. Yeah. Even with the sales of it, uh, with the, even with the sales of the expansion Iceborne, it's rapidly approaching. I gotta see how matchmaking is because that's that's one thing I didn't like about the original Monster Hunter. Well, there's there's a demo. I don't know if the demo has multiplayer on it or not. Um. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. But like, I, I tried playing the older Monster Hunter games because I think it it was on PSP, and then they did the 3DS, and on the PSP, it was just weird and clunky. Well, actually, well, I think it was... I was going to say, I think the first one was on PS2. Yeah. And then it went to PSP, and then it went to 2DS, 3DS... Um, and then, then World then hit went to then, World, yeah. yeah, yeah. World hit for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Well, a after a while, it hit PC, and then 
they wanted to take it back to the handheld and they think the switch was a good hybrid i i don't understand it because like it's it, it seems like laziness because like the game runs fine they just need to make the matchmaking options a lot easier to get into yeah yeah there, there's some weird ones um like in world you get daily tickets that if you choose to use them it doubles the money you get from doing a mission mm -hmm. me personally i don't know for you guys but 90 percent of the time when i went to go use a ticket and join someone else's match it would drop me from it completely hmm. yeah, I, it would, I, I would just try to pair up with my buddies but even then it wasn't that good we never had problems with our matchmaking bro no and we would just go in and the two of us would just go attack shit <laughs> yeah when it was when it was stuff like that like me and a buddy or me and a couple other people we never had any issues if, we, if i was hosting or he was hosting that's that's the thing that mattered yeah with <laughs> with the world you're, you I mean you could be connected halfway across the world and the connections don't line up so it just boot you out yeah um now see talking about bringing us the handheld makes me wonder if nintendo is gonna do something like playstation tried to do what was it the was it the psp or the vita that they had the actual 3g model you remember that oh that was the uh vita yeah i couldn't remember if it was early vita or late psp that they tried doing the actual like no it was service. vita because you had two different options and it was like singular or sprint towers it went through yeah yeah it'll be interesting to see if <laughs> nintendo's gonna bring out something like that <laughs> god i hope not give us the 5g well they're they're saying that they plan on steady content well what i'm saying is like with this here being you know heavily online and then bring it to the switch like that that kind of kind of makes me wonder if the switch is going to be pushing for something like that i mean in today's day and age wi-fi is widely more available than it was you know 10 years ago whenever they started that with the psp and the vita yeah. like now you have <laughs> if you have comcast you can pick up a free hotspot just about anywhere yeah <laughs> But is that stable enough to run a match? I don't know. Have to drive down to Walmart and see. <laughs> I mean, internet's already getting like better and better. I mean, it's hard. It, we're so spoiled by internet speed that a lot of us don't remember the good old DSL days. <laughs> DSL. It, well, I mean. Maybe. That, that was what 10 megabytes up was just blazing fast yeah and oh, before yeah. that like it was straight up coax cables just dial uh, up just dial up yeah i remember <laughs> 1200 kilobytes a second oh and we thought that was super quick mm -hmm. and it's like oh four hours for this game to download it's like yes winning winning right i'm gonna go outside and play for a little bit i'll come back and the game will be ready no, I remember the good old days where you didn't even have to do that. Throw the fuck cartridge in and boom, you're great, ready to go. <laughs> yeah. There was Listen, no update. I cannot confirm nor deny my source for gaming. <laughs> I, I don't expect you to. Well, and that's, that's something that we could talk about a little bit later on in one of our stories. Piracy. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, that's something I want to talk about whenever we touch on the last topic. I do not approve of you putting me in that group. I didn't say you were in that group. I just said I want to talk about it. <laughs> so, yeah, Monster Hunter Rise. I like it. I want to I want to pick it up. It looks good. I'm going to play the demo tonight. And while we're staying on Nintendo... If you're a collector of video games, you might want to go check your stockpile because a sealed copy of the original Super Mario Brothers sold for $660,000, which shattered the previous record of 156000 
That's horrible. I insane. Why? Why? Also, nothing I have is sealed. Why? <laughs> um. Well, I mean, they've been the, uh, these old mint copies of Super Mario Bros. have been hitting pretty good when they are mint and sold. Yeah. In the market, uh, back in July, we had one go for one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. And there was one in February of 2019 that went for like a hundred thousand, just over. And yeah. one time I bought one for three dollars at a pawn store. Right. <laughs> it wasn't mint sealed though. No, it was sticky. I wasn't questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> it was even more was sticky like when he was done. I was six. I had five dollars. I went and bought gum right around the corner. <laughs> Well, it says here from the, uh, according to Heritage Auctions, <clears throat> not only is this the finest plastic sealed copy with a perforated cardboard hang tab we've been offered of any black box title, it is also the oldest sealed copy of Super Mario Bros. Wait, so it had the actual like tab on it that they put on yeah. the shelf. Yes. Yeah we've ever had the opportunity to offer this is only the fourth version of mario's ever produced and its window of production was remarkably short just to paint a better picture of how short this really was the nationwide release for the console game came in mid to late 86 the black box games distributed for that release did not have the game pack nes gp code uh, it's worth mentioning that Nintendo managed to add the trademark symbol to the NES on their game boxes by beginning of 87. Oh, so this was before that they actually put out the approved by Nintendo stamp. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it, no, I don't know. I don't know if this is an exact picture, and I will bring this up on stream. So it received a 9.6 rating as far as its mint condition. How do you um, get a perfect 10? That's what I want to know, because if this thing is sealed, what <laughs> what is like, but other than the only thing I saw in the high nines uh, was an article that Rob shared a couple weeks ago of, um, what was it? Copies of Pokemon. They, they were... They were <laughs> They were Game Boy copies of Pokemon. Yeah. That were still sealed. By 20 um, years ago. Wish. It was worth mentioning that Nintendo managed to edit the trademark symbol to the Nintendo system on their game boxes by the beginning of 1987. That certainly doesn't leave much time at all for this variant to be in between the two. So what was this rated as? A 9.6. A 9.6. So yeah, this is the exact copy. Wow. Beautiful. That is... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look into this after the show. Because now, now Jay's got me intrigued. How do you get a perfect 10 if it is a sealed copy? Knowing the right people. Um, well, no, if you look like down in a corner, the plastics, hugs, maybe. the plastics wrinkled a little bit. The plastic well, yeah but that that was just how cellophane from back then but it's not perfect so it's not a 10. you find something to throw <laughs> i'm just saying that's what they look that's the kind of shit that they look at i'm sure hold on so yeah everybody There's check your water collections there. yeah check your collections i'll never have your, again keep your eyes open for any and all yard sales estate sales you never know you never know like i told rob the the my call of duty black ops 4 mystery box edition yeah the box wasn't in perfect shape oh we got a stretch yeah the box wasn't in perfect shape but none of the dlc was used and nothing was touched inside everything inside was mint and i got it for 60 dollars fucking mint fucking mint and now, now, you, now you can't touch them for less than four hundred dollars. Hi, Drake. Thanks, Phoenix. And I already claimed all the DLC, so I can't resell it. <laughs> you can resell the box. That's it. 
Oh, but ask Rob that box ain't worth shit. Yeah. So I want it just so I can have it as a collection piece. So if you ever want me to part it. No, no. Uh, you're, oh. talk, you're talking about the actual chest. Yeah. Yeah. The actual mystery box. That mystery chest is awesome. And I'm putting it on the shelf as soon as my room's done. I can't wait till you get this wall. Right? Because it's going to be a wall. So <laughs> up next. Summer Games Fest returns this June. The digital gaming celebration has returned, everybody. Um, Yay! Now, like last year, uh, there was a ton of stuff that came from this. Where we mostly indies. We got some in a lot of indies. We got some first developer stuff, and it was just nice that it did last all summer. Um. As of right now, we don't know what to expect. They just announced it. Um, the roster of participating publishers and developers, along with the event schedule outline, is going to be revealed in the next couple of weeks on the press release on their website. I swear to God, Teclin better be on that because I want Dying Light 2 news. Right. Mm. Um, the... The... Entertainment Software Association says it is transforming its E3 conference, which we'll talk about in a second. And the Game Developers Conference shift, shifted into three separate online events, with the traditional business and education focused event taking place on the week of July 19th. So this whole year is fucked for conventions if you want to go, basically. Yeah. Which I look at it as more hinder on our growth oh i agree mm -hmm. well we can do a digital stream of this yeah we can but that's just not the same like we had planned on going to boston you know, we, boston. boston. I, I i was gonna make a joke about how rob always has computer problems when we do this stuff yeah hey hey no normally when we do the we cover an online conference like this it's normally pretty good it's just the normal shows that fuck up whenever we're doing an online conference i'm normally like in a hospital doing something stupid <laughs> having a kid <laughs> hey it, that's not stupid i didn't mean it that way <laughs> get him get him wife well phoenix we do have more we do have news about e3 this year we do yeah. that, that we will be talking about next uh so rob if you're done with summer games fest because yeah it's yeah. literally the article is like two paragraphs and basically it's just saying that hey summer's games fest is coming back this year and like i said last year was pretty cool we got some got some cool uh conferences out of it we got some cool demos like this some format, free games. we don't have to read like two sentences worth of two paragraphs right so we can actually jump to e3 things as yeah, phoenix let's... is asking about it I was actually about to say, let's jump to E3 and then the topic right above that, that that fill in for the last one. Well, we, we got two. Segue. Yeah, we got two other ones. So, yeah, well, that's what I mean. So for E3, E3 this year is going to be a digital event because um, they say online only. Uh, we'll be back by Capcom, Konami, Microsoft, Nintendo, Tale 2, which I, I wonder if that's supposed to be Take 2. And so. Ubisoft, and they say Warner and Koch Media will also be part of the show. Koch sounds familiar. I need to look into that because I could have swore Rob we talked about them around this time last year Koch when Jack. we had a, when we were talking about conventions. Um, but as of right now, Activision Blizzard, Bandai Namco, EA, Sega, Sony, and Square will not be that, there. Not the slouch. Um. Fit and frame. Well, <clears throat> one thing that bothers me about one of the oh, companies, um, besides Activision Blizzard, and I usually let Jay go off about those because he's <laughs> the he, he's the Call of Duty guy. Bandai Namco. I didn't know if you guys knew this. Uh, if you make videos regarding any of their up and coming games, uh, they hit you with DMCA strikes claims on your channel oh yeah. boy i can't wait to talk about warzone um, um so there's one there's one guy he there's an upcoming game uh a jrpg that he wanted to cover 
and he was asking his friends why nobody was covering it. And that's when he found out they're striking channels. They're going after channels that are talking about their up and coming games. Yeah. Wow. You're, you're literally attacking free press mm -hmm. for your games. Why? If we get a DMCA, you know why. Yeah, because we're talking about we'll, it now. <laughs> we'll be martyrs for that. Yeah. Oh, we'll be martyrs. I'll go after these companies. I don't care. Well, they don't care. They look at us and they're like, man, we ain't even bothering with that. Yeah, go yeah, buy my right. game. All right, that's like 60 bucks you don't get. Uh, so, Brem, Osh Media, um, they maintain strategic collaboration or collaborative partnerships with Atlas, Bethesda, Capcom, Codemasters, Casper Sky Labs, Sega, Square Enix, Koei, Tecmo, and many others in various European countries with headquarters near Germany, or near Munich, Germany. Ghost Media owns branches in Germany, England, France, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, Spain, the Nordic regions, Benelux, and the US. Ghost Media's publishing label, Deep Silver, has released more than 200 games, including independent... Oh, uh, Deep Silver. Including independent brands such as Saints Row, Metro, Agents of Mayhem, Dead Island, Homefront, and Risen. Ah, oh, okay. So, that's why we know them. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was also that convention that they held in germany last year well yeah that's or the year before uh gdc game developers conference yeah the big one over there and they were yeah. of course part of that because you know that's their home turf right mm -hmm. um so coming from e3 directly he said we are evolving this year's e3 into a more inclusive event but we will still look to excite the fans with major reveals and insider opportunities that make this event the indispensable center stage for video games. From, Inclusive. I mean... For more than two right. decades, E3 has been the premier venue to showcase the best that the video game industry has to offer while uniting the world through games. See, see, Phoenix knows exactly what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, it's not inclusive. It's not inclusive because inclusive would be something that they haven't done for years, which is let the general public in. Well, they, they did it in 2018 yeah for a very short window or 2019 no you got in for a weekend yeah but that's not enough i mean it's honestly it's not that's different enough. than sema like for yeah you, fair. you know but how much were the ticket prices um like 120 bucks for the weekend really yeah it wasn't like god awful expensive mm -hmm. Where it gets got off ex expensive is trying to find a hotel room. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the prices for like the, the I wouldn't say comp yeah. ticket, but it included, you know, your, your hotel at the convention center. Yeah. Which I know is always pricier, but, you know, if you can get a bundle, I think it was like four or five hundred bucks. I mean, that isn't bad, honestly. I mean, for me, I got debts to pay. <laughs> Tool guys to throw money at. Okay, so it was 150 bucks for the first thousand tickets sold, and then it was 250 bucks from there out. Oh, hmm. yeah, and that was in 2019. I don't remember when I looked, but it was it was expensive. Well, see, that there is literally what got us into doing this was e3 yeah you know or any convention period well no like our first show was covering e3 <laughs> oh yeah yeah you know yeah we did we did oh. the weekend before and the weekend after because we did our predictions and stuff and then we did what actually came from it gotcha and that was like our whole our whole goal for this was to be able to get media badges to go to E3. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and get um, the super plush lifestyle. Well, see, before E3 was like SEMA, where you had to be a media member to get into E3. And I think they stopped that in 2016 or 2017 that they sold gamer passes. All right, who wants to step on the grenade and go to school for journalism? Well, technically, we, we would be media now. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't even have to do that. 
Yes. Um, but we need them to open things up. I don't think they ever will, to be 100% honest with you. I think from here on out, it's going to be digital. And Sony has not taken part of a single online conference since this whole thing started. And I mean, to me, that makes sense because why are you going to spend money, you know, going, hey, I'm going to do a special E3 presentation so that I could do this and I could do that whenever you get to be like, you know what? Fuck you. I have my own shit. I'm going to do my own state of play or whatever it may be you want to call it. Sony. Yeah, I'm going my own with blackjack and hookers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's the thing, though. It, the, it's going to die off. People are getting tired of it. Everybody's tired of being at home. Everybody's tired of being stuck in the house. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Um, and let's look at it from this point. Okay, you've cut your budget on having to be a part of these opening things, these conventions. How are you still charging as much as you do? So well, and, and here's my you've thing. slashed you you've slashed your marketing budget. Yeah. Dramatically by not having to be there at these conventions. Um but you're still if anything, you're offering more and charging more. Right. Because now we have add ons. Oh Jay, you're new. You want me to shout you out, but <laughs> we have That's game add ons, we have <laughs> DLCs, we have expansions, we have all this stuff that they charge for. Yeah, but we eat it up. You've slashed your marketing budget. Right. Well, the the marketing is new media now. It's YouTube ads, it's Facebook ads, it's Twitter ads, it's yeah, Instagram but see, ads. But see, think about this, okay? You might have a team of five people to do the social media. Mm -hmm. you're not sending 50 people to a conference that you got to pay plus you got to pay for vendor floor space plus you got to pay for these people to be in hotels you got to play pay for meals you got you know all that shit so you're saving a fuck ton of money when you think about these people are at home doing this from their pcs yeah and most of them have the have the equivalent of a laptop like me yeah. Their video quality looks as good as mine. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm off and I'm operating off of a three hundred and sixty dollar laptop I bought off of Amazon. Yeah. It's the same as these multi million dollar celebrities that do their night shows, their talk shows from home. They don't use mics or headsets. They use the mic and uh, speaker off the laptop. Yeah, I never they understood that. They use the camera that. off the laptop. I never understood that because literally, Brian, you and me are using the same mic right now. Yeah. Now I'm using a Blue Yeti. We're using these five fine, whatever, K6800s <clears throat> that we bought for $25 a piece. Um, And I'm telling you, people are starting to see it. And now, like I said, with Bandai going after content creators for using, e e even them using fair use stuff. Yeah. To talk about a game series that they like. Right. And that's the thing. Like, they're not even slandering Scar them. They're just talking. Scar to Scarlet Nexus is the name of the game. Mm. Mm hmm. That people want to cover it, but they won't because if they put up any, any videos or screenshots, they will come after them and they've That's done it just several just trying to keep their property safe yeah but it's ridiculous honestly i mean if you i agree nah, i don't know anyways so yeah e3 digital um the gdc game developers conference is digital everything is digital again this year pax east well, canceled Paxi's canceled. Are they doing digital or is it just canceled? It's just canceled. And I mean, okay. honestly, like, but they're having Pax West in um, Pax Australia. Pax, or I'm sorry, Pax. Yeah, Pax West is still up in the air. It's not confirmed nor denied. And Pax Unplugged, which is in Philadelphia. Yeah, I, I can just see like a 
uh, a Nirvana esque unplugged MTV unplugged scene where it's just packs just sitting there with a full orchestra behind them, guitars and fucking well, brown shirts and shit. No, it's ta- I, it's tabletop games, is what it is. I oh, told yeah. I told Rob that would be the Same one for him, for him to attend. And actually, Jay, you should probably go with it to him. It's all tabletop. It would be fun. There, I'm intrigued. There, there's going to be a lot. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of D and D stuff. Oh, well, D&D, Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, Sword fighting. LARPing. I really want to go to a Renaissance Fair and just, hey, like, hey. swack somebody with a broadsword. <laughs> E-E-R-P parties. <laughs> Do everyone know what that is? Exotic role-playing. Yeah, get out. Anyways, so... Moving on a little bit, and this is one that I think we could talk about for yeah. a little bit, honestly. Um, Sony, for the first time ever, MLB The Show will be multi-platform. It will not be a PlayStation exclusive. Um, and with that, it's going to arrive on Xbox Games Pass at launch. And that is going to be on 420. Go figure. <laughs> nah. um, 420 graze it. So at first, you know, I'm thinking to myself, you know, and me and Jay, we talked about this a little bit, that it would be smart for Sony because they're trying to build hype on a different console, trying to get it out there that they could pull it back off Games Pass. Smart. But a PlayStation fan is now having to pay money while an Xbox person just gets it for free. Okay, so... Whether it's timed or not, they have not said. It's not. MLB themselves paid for it to be published. MLB is the publisher on the PC and Xbox versions of it. Yeah, but that's... That looks bad on Sony because Sony is giving a... Giving a way... Nope. MLB MLB said... MLB said... If you guys want to continue to make the game, you have to give us the rights to put it on whatever consoles we want to. And they said, okay, that's fine. And then MLB came to the decision that they're going to put it on Games Pass. They're eating the cost. It, uh, it's it's just not fair, though. Eh. To, to Sony. Eh. People on PlayStation, it's not fair to them. I agree to an extent. Are they going to get it for free? No. And I'll tell you why. I mean, I, I mean, I won't tell you why, because I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe. But I highly doubt it. If they do, they'll do it like they did with uh, Oddworld, Soulstorm. You know, you, you'll be able to download it for a month with the PlayStation Plus. You know, it'll be, it'll be the PlayStation Plus free game. Yeah. Um, And... I think it was either 19 or 20 was recently. Um, and then, you know, they did, they did it with that. They did it with, uh, fall guys, but I mean, think about it. Odd world. Yeah. But they weren't on there for like, however long it's on games pass, which is going to be longer than a month guarantee. Well, like I said, that is MLB paying for it. I mean, most people who have Xbox have Game Pass. I'm just saying that's MLB paying for it to be up there. So still not fair fair to the fans, in my opinion. Well, I mean, honestly, though, how many people are baseball fans? A lot. It's America's pastime, bro. How many people play baseball on the on the? A lot. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let, let, let's let's look at MLB 20. Sales numbers. Yeah. <clears throat> Has 1.8 million player total players. As of 19 November. <laughs> 20, As 51,000 people plus new players returning 94,000. And returning players have earned at least one trophy in the last month. So that's, that's people that, you know, are getting trophies and shit. If they're not getting trophies, it doesn't track those people. Yeah. Uh, I just... 
a hundred thousand yeah. people at uh 11 18 2020 it was at 1.76 million player ps4 player count yeah i mean i'm looking at popularity by region country uh U.S., South Korea, Canada, Panama, Taiwan, Mexico. 80, 89% of the player base is the U.S. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. With uh, second place going to South Korea, which I, they love baseball over yeah. there. All, well, everything I just named, they all have baseball teams or people that come over to the U.S. to play baseball. Yeah with surprise surprise saudi arabia saudi arabia being dead last actually turkey and bulgaria but yeah. they're showing zero hey germany likes baseball more than every other country <laughs> <than Benjamin. laughs> so i mean it, it baseball is is still like people still love it and people still love being able to play baseball we just particularly don't like it because it's copy and paste simulator 2020 it's not Look. even that. It's not even Look. that to me. When my created character walks up to the bat and he says, now up, Big Daddy Crespo, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting me a home run. <laughs> does, the, does he have the dad bod and everything? Yes. Yes. I gave my guy big muscles and a gut. I, I love it. If there was any way to put flannel on him, you need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, didn't understand. she's like what do you mean that you have to have a wardrobe that suits you being a dad i was like well you have to have like flannel in every single color and pattern uh no you need, you i don't need have any white, flannel i don't have any you flannel. need the white nikes new balances, well, new balances. New balances. Yeah. Oh, white new balances that's right i'm sorry you, 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 you gotta have the if you want to stunt you gotta have the khaki shorts with a polo shirt khaki cargo shorts Need, uh, it could go either track. way. It could go either way. It depends. Okay, if your dad on the move or somebody does work around the house, or, you need or sure. it depends on the if age of the kids. If <laughs> you're a sports dad, if you're a sports dad, has to be Under Armour. Uh, under, Camo under, under Armour hoodie, even if you don't hunt. And and the Under Armour polo. Yes. Oh, and for some for some reason. Carhartt has to be thrown in there at one point too. The yeah. the skin tight, the skin tight Under Armour sweatshirt. You know what I mean? That that the compression that, shirt. The compression shirt where everything just kind of hangs out. Dude, stop calling me out. I have a bunch of shit like that in the, in the closet right now. <laughs> Are you flabby though? No, no. He's, he's skin and bones. Okay, not that much skin. Listen, you my shirt off. When I walk through a dicks. And it looks like, <laughs> and it looks like you're smuggling three un- oh. inner tubes underneath that compression shirt. We need, no. we need, a, we need, we need to clip no. that. When you walk into dicks, <laughs> yeah, what kind of maturity you expect from our show, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, not gonna, <laughs> back to the video game side of things. Um, yeah. I mean, I I get. I get why people are frustrated with it, but I mean, what the only thing Sony could do at this point would be like, "All right, we'll cut our losses and give it to you for free," and they're not going to okay. do that. You're, you're neglecting the contribution MLB has done for society. Okay, let me take you back to a great, great band who wrote lyrics such as "I did it all for the Nookie." Fred Durst was wearing a New Era hat. That was an MLB hat. I understand. I, I get what you're saying, bud. But what I'm He's saying... He's changed the face of music. <laughs> what I'm saying is that Tony isn't going to... They're not going to care, honestly. Like, Yeah, they're not. They're I not. mean... Outrage culture going to outrage, regardless if it's justified. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're going to come out and go, we're no, sorry. Getting, listen, listen. This is, this is the typical fucking generation that we have now we want it for free because they're getting Hold it on. for free but before you do that you need to turn up the music really loud and obnoxious like some loud like obnoxious 808 beats and put the mic so far down your throat i can hear your tonsils vibrating uh, <laughs> 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 
It just oh, helps oh, perpetuate oh, the console oh, war. Oh, oh, oh. It just helps perpetuate the console war. Because now the Xbox guys and the PS4 guys can play online matches and talk crap on each other. Well, see, That's here's what the thing. Like, for. NBA, huh? NBA, FIFA, PS4, Madden. PS5. NBA, Look. UK, uh, NBA, FIFA, Madden, and the NHL. The, the, all their sports games are already on Games Pass. So that's all they were doing was trying to have the full gambit on Games Pass. So, I mean, if Sony wants to, they can eat it. Um, I mean, Santa Monica is obviously Eric, their I studio. I got a question for you. Okay. When, when, when's Xbox going to feed it to you so you can eat it? Huh? How much are they paying you, Rob? Ain't paying me anything. I mean, if they want money? to, if they want to, they can. I wish Stadia was paying me money. I love that fucking thing. <laughs> give me some money. I will. I already talk it up. Just give me some money. <laughs> um, and now for another news topic, talking about Sony and them fucking up. Sony, how do you think they're? How do you think they're fucking up with this? So. He's mad he can't get PS5. He's taking it out on no, Sony. No, 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 no. PS3, PSP, I understand. I get it. I do. The Vita, though? The Vita, I I, mean, I could very... Wait, the, P the Vita sold less than the PSP. But it's still new enough that they're still developing games for it. They're not. They stopped production on all games on Vita. No, they didn't. Unless it's like mobile games. You could still get games on Vita. And they're just the like... Last, the last time I went through the the PS Store for the Vita, um, what had the overwhelming portion of the store for add-ons and stuff was this monster singing game. And it was all track packs and different instruments and different monsters and okay, so there are upcoming games although the system was discontinued in 2019 the system yeah they are mostly developed by smaller indie teams and although there are new occasional titles from japan but does that necessarily warrant the the vita i mean it's, a, it's sold worse than the psp i think well here's my whole point on this the whole point of the psp and the ps vita was to push online sales was to push digital gaming how old's the vita what did it come out 2016 2015 2013 i didn't realize it was that long but well, the PSP, the, the 300 or the 3000, like the one that they reworked and updated and the final product came out in 2008. Okay. I had a Vita, like one of the original Vitas, a little bastard friend of mine broke it. I had a Vita. I had, I had, a, I had a God of War PSP. I love that fucking thing. Oh, I had Burnout. It was great. Well, no, but like I had a red PSP that had Kratos on the back of it, like the special edition. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. But my whole thing on this is for the retention of video games, for the history of video games, for the preservation of video games, and even talking about the Monster Hunter series, you're not going to be able to go play that game anymore because it's not going to be available. You can't go buy it. It's it's still going to be available, but you have to have access to it. You have to have already bought That's it. That's what I'm saying, though. You know, like, say you're coming into Monster Hunter on this, on Rise, right? You get really into Rise, and you want to play all the games. You can go buy the DS versions. You can buy the Wii versions. But you won't be able to buy the PlayStation 2 without a physical copy. You won't be able to buy... ESP without a physical copy, spending one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars on it. I mean, it's. It, I hate to say it, but look how the other consoles are. 
What do you mean? You can still I mean, you every, can every... Lift, you can still go buy Fable for the original Xbox on their online okay. store. You can still go buy the original Halo on Xbox's online store. Yeah, but that's that's You can't go buy you can't go buy original PlayStation games right now. I can't go buy regular Switch games either. I can't play any of the old backwards catalog games unless they re-release them for Switch. But Every other console generation has done this though. Like it's it sucks. But yeah, they're they're the richest anybody that's done point. digital games has not done it. Well, it's Sony's it's the only territory. one that's doing it. It's new territory. I can't. The original Fable came out on Xbox. Ex, original Xbox. Yes. It did not have an online store on original Xbox. You would have to have a physical copy for that. But they did re-release a digital enhanced edition, the special edition, for the Xbox 360. They also re-released it as the Fable Anniversary, where they gave it the graphic engine of 2 and 3. I know my Fable. But I also know my original Xbox. So back then, you needed the physical physical copy of them before they re-released them on the stores. Yeah, before they did, but now you can literally get just about every Xbox game that was ever released. Yeah, now that they have their own storefront. You know, the, the storefront they're running now is, is the storefront that they've been running since the Xbox One. So it's not that far of a con. I mean, Xbox 360 games are on there, but they have backwards compatibility in the, in the Game Pass and all that stuff. So that's what I'm getting at. You have Sony that is now not supporting this. And they're pushing an all digital fucking console. You want me to buy an all digital console and you're going to stop seven years after a, 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 a system came out, you're going to stop supporting it completely. But you're not you going to be able Vita? to buy any games for the Vita. Are you going so to be gonna able tell to play me, a you're gonna Vita tell game me, on the PS5? You're going to tell me that in another <laughs> three to four years, I'm not going to be able to buy any digital games for my PlayStation 4? Because they're going to shut down the store? Because that's what they did it... with the Vita. That's exactly yeah, what the they Vita, did. How long has the Vita store been running in comparison to how the PS4, PS5 store has been run? Well, that's not the point. What the point is, is that they could very easily continue to host these games. It, it would cost pennies on the dollar to do that. And they are going to continue to host the games so that you still have them if you bought them. So now you are forcing people to be pirates. You are forcing people that want to play these games to do it illegally. Or not. Or not play the game at all. Well, because, that option too. Or yeah, yeah, you could not play the game you want to play. You're absolutely right. But you know what? I'm not going to spend four hundred fucking dollars on a game that I don't know if I like or not. Whenever I can do some illegal shit and get it for free, like everybody else. On shop yard sales, they have them all over the Midwest. They probably have them over there too. Hey, Bren, what? How much is that collector's edition you're looking for right now? What rise? Yeah, 150 bucks for something that was originally 70. Yeah, it's Amazon has it for almost 160. But that's a physical collector's edition. Hold on, hold on. Monster Hunter One. Well, even the deluxe edition, which all that includes is all the add-on stuff. Amazon from third-party sellers is over 90 dollars. Um, but I was just looking. So you could buy the first Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter from Target, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't trust all that. <laughs> I don't either. Just because according to the uh, Target website, you can also pick up certain collector's editions from their stores, too. Oh, so yeah, see, look, um, it's not available. <laughs> yeah, you actually have to click the website on that one. Well, I, I was just looking. And PlayStation Now... I was trying to see if maybe they're trying to push people towards that. Um, which PSP and Vita games, it doesn't look like they're on PS Now, they're but not. PS2 and PS3 games are. Select one. <clears throat> well, maybe they'll open up more because I didn't think they were going to re or redo Onimusha and put it on the PS4, but they did. Well, see, that's, I mean, that's the only way that you're going to be able to, to live in these games. Even the original Demon Souls, you're not going to be able to play anymore. You have to play well, the remade, well, man, well, remanufactured. Well, 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 yeah, exactly. Look what Microsoft's doing with Halo. 
the Master Chief Collection? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're, well, they're, I mean, they're doing the same thing with Mass Effect. They're just taking them all, revamping them, and re- releasing it in a in a special edition. Yeah, and then, and like what what it's the same thing as like EverQuest servers that have shut down, and any of the other old RP, uh, MMO RPG. It sucks, but unfortunately, they services have to die for new services to come out of it. If it wasn't making money, bottom line is it's not making money. There's no reason for Sony to keep doing it. As shitty as it is, that's business. You well, don't keep doing what doesn't make you money. And I understand exactly what you're saying with that. I, I really do. How's Xbox doing it then? How does Xbox have I don't know. 577 the, does Xbox, Xbox have, games? Does Xbox, Xbox have... A, like the original the, Xbox does, games Does available. Xbox have a mobile console that you still see people playing? You still see people play Game Boys and DSs for nostalgia or Pokemon or, you know, certain games that you're not going to be able to play. When's the last time you saw somebody actually play a Vita? They have a Vita. They're more likely like, hey, check this out. I have a Vita. Brendan still uses this all the time when he takes a poop. Actually, no, I haven't turned mine on in a while. I was using it before. <laughs> yeah, I know. My, I was main, just my, main, <laughs> my main usage for the Vita was remote play for the PS4. But you'd still be able to do that even though you don't have access to the online, you know, getting games from it. Yeah. I'm not saying that it isn't dead, but what I'm saying is they need to figure out how to keep the games available. Whether it's porting them over into the store now, running an emulation, because that's exactly what so, or, uh, Xbox does. Is it's all emulation. No, it's what Nintendo does. Right. So... I think they're going to expand on PlayStation now. It's just, it's a I mean, streaming service. We oh. haven't got any major news of what Sony's planning for this year yet. It's about to be the first first time they they speak out on anything. You know, E3's coming up. They're not, they're probably not going to be a part of it again. They're not. But they're going to have their own press conference, their own direct conference, and then that's how we're going to get information on what's coming down the pipeline well we already see what's coming down we already see what's coming down the pipeline they're doubling down on their ips and going into movies yeah but that's a different division from the games but that's what their focus is this year is what i'm saying i mean console they're they're going to consult with i mean monster hunter wasn't that good from what i've seen i mean it's a good popcorn flick there's like if you actually scrutinize the movie there's a lot of flaws okay but we know that nathan drake is coming we know that what was the other one that we just had the announcement for and 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 they're using a crowd favorite for that movie tom okay holland. look nathan drake aside and tom holland aside uh do you actually believe we're not going to have any more delays mr i called the year of delay what we're getting a week a week delay well Maybe they longer they yeah, have a week delay on Mortal they, Kombat. That was already done. They have already called a delay on Uncharted. I wonder if they delayed the Mortal Kombat movie because of the Scorpion voice. <laughs> Probably. It was. It wasn't deep enough. <laughs> it, it was literally a ja- Japanese actor like, "Get over here!" And I mean, it's it's good, but it's not get over here. Like, you know, it's not the yeah the effect. Oh, yeah, check man. that shit. <laughs> it's hard to do in a mask. That's why you do voiceovers. No. What am I? I just seen it. Oh, they got a twisted. They got the twisted metal. Um. Oh, are they doing twisted metal? Yeah. And they're not going to be too hard. You're in cars, and you need just a clown on fire. It's. They're talking about doing a God of War TV show, a Horizon Zero Dawn TV show. Yeah, but you never know what happens. Shit could be in production hell. I mean, there was going to be a Legend of Zelda Netflix series before someone at Netflix let it slip, and they went, nope. Nintendo was not fucking around (laughs) on that one. So... Let me see. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I, I, it's here's the thing. I like. I agree with Jay. Um, hype is dying. 
down on these things and they're they don't want to keep paying to maintain it um and it's uh, me personally i feel it goes back to what what i've been saying before mobile gaming is bigger in japan and china mm-hmm. um but sony has pissed that market off yeah i mean that that's a big they, factor too if they're most they people moved, doing they moved these. to america they moved while well, they moved sony entertainment to america right being in silicon valley california they started censoring game developers over there in japan and they're angry about it they've changed a lot of games they've went in they've done their patches and they've removed things they're angry about it they're censoring japanese game developers <clears throat> yeah i mean who knows what's in the cards for sony they need to get Let their head out their ass is what they need to do <clears throat> that they do that they do i mean honestly if you want to tell me that a handheld isn't going to work then why does the switch work so well because it's a console and handheld it has the option why does it why, why does the switch light work so well honestly i don't know Rob. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's what i'm saying is because it has ips like mario and pokemon and indie titles and all sorts of shit. and we can't have those with the with the playstation Especially with them bringing back old IPs like Ratchet and Clank. How many Ratchet and Clank games were on the Vita? I'm not saying the Vita. I'm saying make a new fucking handheld. They won't. That's more money. They're more worried about... They weren't even worried about VR until somebody was like, Hey, uh, you might want to worry about VR. Uh, Don't even get me started on VR for the PS5. No. As soon as the Oculus took a hit... PlayStation saw saw a fucking chance to jump in. Guaranteed. After the Facebook debacle with Oculus, the stock market went down. Sony went, maybe we should reinvest into into VR. Let's see what's good. And the first thing is better tracking and better controllers. After they said they were not going to, they are not worried about VR. For the PS5. Yes. They said, add right now we're not worried about vita a new vita uh, or sorry not a new v a new vr system for the ps5 they keep dropping all these ps5 games we're running out of space yep. especially now that we now now that we have a new call of duty game which we all know takes up a shit ton of space on the hard drive yeah <clears throat> We need we need them to worry more about the expansions, o- opening up that M dot two. Yeah, I mean before they before we, they go in go into the VR stuff. We haven't had any news on the the M dot two since uh, like January February whenever they said that oh we'll, we'll we'll make it available this summer. Well, I I didn't even know about that. The last I knew about it was when Mark Cerny gave his half asleep. Uh, God, I'm falling asleep. Walk, thinking about it. <laughs> walk through, <laughs> walk through of how they develop, how they came up with the PS5 and what it's capable of. It's revolutionary tech, guys. It's it, it's really great. It's revolutionary tech. Yeah, it, it, we can't do anything. Uh, it's just quit coming out with all these games and making it dependent solely on well, the hard drive well, hold on brad hold on here's the thing about that oh, though like a savage drinking straight out of a bottle of sprite what 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 ps5 exclusives are there i i don't know rob i don't have a list pulled up there's like five and you own them all <laughs> right now well that's what i'm saying like don't get me wrong we do they do need more storage but coming out with games they're coming out with ps4 games and you're just getting that version until they do a next gen update yeah or full on like rebound resell (laughs) (coughs) 
So here's a short list of the PS5 exclusives. And a- Astro came with the console. Right. So right off the bat, there's that. Demon Souls got that. Uh, Destruction All Stars. I claimed it, but I didn't download it or play it. We have God of War Ragnarok, which is isn't even out yet. And that yeah, that's uh, still rumored. I mean, there's no real information on that. Grand Grand Turismo Seven, which isn't out yet, slated for first half of 2021, which is rapidly coming to an end. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Returnal. Returnal isn't released yet. Yeah, no games are released yet. There was three of them that have been released so far. Ratchet and Clank has? No, no, no. Um, Astro, Demon oh, Souls, okay. and Destruction All Stars. I was only, I was only counting the two games that didn't come free. Yeah. Well, no, I was I was counting yeah, those two. And, and there's that weird Marguerite game that was free last month too. Yeah, but that's not um, an exclusive. No. No, I don't think. But <clears throat> Sony needs to worry about other things um, before they worry about VR. Uh, they have other things to worry about before a next handheld console to go along with it. Like piss and rob off. Well, here's the thing. Like, Brent, honestly, that's just going to be flipping a switch. Honestly what for them to be able to use that extra m.2 slot no cerny said they do not have well yeah software wise yeah they just have to unblock it there's a firewall there's a i'm guessing it's a firewall blocking it right um but cerny himself said that they need it has to hit a certain spec right before it can be approved for ps5 games and the the hardware just isn't there yet i mean they're getting close well and here's the other thing that here's the other thing we got to think about with that too western digital has one that we found is hitting seven thousand. well here's the thing the thing that we have to think about right now it is super hard to get any form of chip because of all the shit going on in the world you know what dude i watched linus tech I watched Linus's video on that. There was no chip shortage. There's it a chip shortage such, right now. It he he showed the graphs and everything. It's just the market outpaced the production. So that's a shortage. <laughs> yeah, that's the definition it, of a shortage. There's not enough to go around. The demand hit so hard, so fast. Yeah, but that that's what I'm saying is you can't get the chips for graphics cards you can't get the chips for consoles you can't get the chips for you know what whatever's and it, it, it depends on the size the the what 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 is it the, the i want to say a rating of a chip but it's not the rating um the form factor of the chip like the, well there's like two companies and like other countries that really work on like the main two components that people use for their chipsets yeah, yeah, and, and I think Samsung was just recently a, recently started doing it too. Well, yeah. and, and here's and, the here's the thing about that too is a lot of these people, you know, you have to like completely retool your entire factory, and that takes a ton of money and time. And with how fast paced stuff changes, you're gonna spend a year and a half changing it, and you're gonna do a year year and a half worth of chip production and then all that money you just spent is not gonna be worth a thing i mean the major issue is chip shortage and it's also by the hackers but the fort or not the hackers but the uh, the scalpers but it's not the main issue unfortunately it's literally production at this point yeah it's just the, with everything that happened the market they weren't anticipating such a hard hit. Yeah. Well, everything got hit, really. But that's, I think, one of the reasons that, um, that that you know we haven't seen that enabled yet. But I don't know. <laughs> it's. <laughs> 
I can't tell you the last time I've seen someone hit the Vita section or the PS3 section at GameStop or even at the secondhand store. I mean, I don't know what it's like out for you, Rob, because I'm more inner city. I see it all the time. People hitting the Vita and the PS3 section. Yeah. I mean, I I still do it too. (laughs) Hipsters. Hey, I look for steel books. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any, but I understand your addiction. I have a few. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, while we're in debate mode, <laughs> I have uh, a box full of them. This bin, which is filled to the very top, is all just games. Um, I have another bin for movies. Mm. Uh, I have a couple movies. Mine are mostly games. Actually, I only have two movies. Yeah, I only have two movies, Spirited Away and Pokemon. That's great. I have a few over there. And Steelbook. I don't over there. (laughs) I mean, I got like a, a Walmart, uh... Friday the 13th collection, so I got that going for me. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll get there. Yeah. Eventually. I'm actually about to redo this whole room. This whole camera's going to be a different perspective and everything. Always. <laughs> so. So, Jay, you want to you wanna rant and vent a little bit? Um, Maybe. I think I'm going to wait. Until some more information comes out okay we still got a, we got a, about 15 more days for the battle pass comes out okay. anyways okay. so you never know there could be some more information come out more leaks fair enough because this is it's just a rumor filled rant it's just gonna we'll be talking all night on it <laughs> <laughs> well i mean listen when when you treat your player base like crap and go after them just for talking about certain things in your games yeah uh, I mean, it, it's getting to this point now. Like these these developers want to fling shit at us, when we're getting ready to start flinging it right back. Yeah. Well, there was something that was set. Like somebody tweeted that was like, Activision will go after people on DMCA claims, but they won't do anything on these companies selling hacks that break their game. Well, <laughs> I mean, look at look at the shit that we were talking about in our Discord. Well, in our personal chat earlier, um, you know, earlier this week about that guy from FaZe, FaZe Clan. Um, if you search him, like one of the biggest things right now is he was trying to defend somebody else in FaZe Clan that he got caught using one of them strike packs. What, the ones that manipulate your lobbies? No. So the strike pack, you can make it do shit like aimbots. Mm. Um, double oh, jumps. Are we, going, are we going back to that kid? Well, I'm just saying, like, you you could go to Target right now and buy a strike pack. They're, they're like 40 bucks. Yeah, fuck all that. I'm just saying, huh. you, you can go buy one and plug it into your controller, plug it into your computer, download the scripts, and it, it's all readily available. Like, yeah. there, there's tons of information out there on how to do it. And like the one guy that I was watching, um, I think it was like Assault Panda or Deadly Panda, something like that. Um, you know, he he did a video on it where he showed the sticky aim assist, and it was fucking insane because it just locks on, kind of like auto uh, aim assist. Yeah. Like, literally, he showed it. You you look down sights, and as soon as somebody runs across your screen, it just tracks them. Damn. That's bullshit. But, and that's what I'm saying, is you could do this. And, I mean, unless you're playing, like, in a professional setting, they don't give a fuck. Mm. But, <laughs> I give a fuck. I do, too. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they don't. Yeah. Well, they don't have to care. They know, well, now that next gen's out, they can charge $70, $80. 
for what Jay calls a copy and paste COD game. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really. It sucks. I love COD. I bitch about it so much. But I do love like series. <laughs> and sucks. you know, before we close out, I got one thing I want to bring up before we end the show. Um, there was a, a story that recently came up about a streamer who openly admitted during his Twitch stream that he flagged down a smaller channel. Oh, yeah. For having the audacity to make fun of his picture that he puts up on his YouTube videos. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember the term that you guys use for um, the pay. thumbnail yeah thumbnail he made fun of his thumbnail that he puts up on his YouTube videos where he said yeah I, I saw it I didn't like it I went out and I had it struck down as I should have yeah because you know somebody was Talk about butter soft, thin skin. Butter Twitch soft. Butter soft. I don't care. I'll say it. Nick Merckx. Yeah. The guy that says bro 12 times in one sentence. Bruh. 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 You know what I mean, bro? DM fam. Bruh. Actively abusing systems just because he's a butter soft with thin skin. Butter soft. I love that. Butter soft. Butter soft. I wish he would. I wish he would come after me, which he's probably not going to care. He's probably not even going to know. Yeah, we're 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 not big <clears throat> enough for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Hey, at least I'm punching up and not down like he does. <laughs> this is this is very true. <laughs> at least at least I'm going up. But you know what? It, the audacity yeah. to do something like that right to no, completely go after someone over a comment or a joke on a picture right that you know you, and, and the thing about Who it cares? is it's not like you know he he does the same shit you know he, he talks shit on people all the time yeah you know so he can now i i he, have to read about him i can't watch his I I understand he's got an army of 12 year olds <laughs> that check out his that, that watch him on Twitch and stuff but the dude the dude's probably making tens of thousands of dollars a month what do you care if someone makes fun of a picture a thumbnail sorry thumbnail you guys call them thumbnails on YouTube well I mean that's what they're, the technical term for a video image is <laughs> I know I'm poking fun. Of course he is. No, Shut up, kidding. Boomer. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's also he is on top of being the PlayStation Five correspondent. He's also the Boomer correspondent. Damn. I am. I, I have always said that in, in our community, I'm probably the oldest one there. Okay. <laughs> the gray hairs are showing. Shut up. I pluck those. <laughs> that makes it worse. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I plucked it. Whatever. <laughs> it's okay. It's just, that that bothers me. That you're gonna punch down that hard and get someone's channel taken out ah. over a joke. I Bro. Up. Yeah, right. Bruh. So, bra. Bra. Sorry. It's bra. Bruh. We don't do bro. We're not boomers, bro. It's bra. Crap the screen. Whatever. I Fuck I, him. I messed it up. Okay. Fuck him. <laughs> I'm blaming everybody. Whatever. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm dead. Rant over. And I'm spent. Ran over. <laughs> Ran over. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. Attacking someone over a thumbnail. And I'm spent. Right. Yeah. Rob, you have anything you want to talk about? uh nope that's all i got nope all righty so rob has graciously gone through our list and updated it 
As I said, I would. Yep. Um, I feel that we have someone missing from the investors list. Oh, Did we you... do. We do. We have two people missing. I was going to say, I thought that was. Okay, so while he's doing that. Uh, I got it right now. Okay. <clears throat> As we do at the end of all of our shows, um, we want to give a shout out to uh, our gracious community that likes to make it rain during our shows. Right. Mm -hmm. Although we haven't had Vern the last two weeks. Yeah, I know. We haven't had any moist bee holes. <laughs> I know. You know what? You need, on the, uh, on you the need to Facebook tell him. Page. You need to tell him he's acting sus. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so he's always saying so, purple sus. He's looking kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> We're shout out to our investors: Love Bug, Jeff Co, Notorious Twist, Vern, which he's been absent. Mm -hmm. Pop Rocks, we missed. They, he's been popping. He or she, I don't want to assume. Um, they've been popping in and out, but we haven't seen them in a while. And then I've got. Rob just had to because to make his wife happy, Sunflower. <laughs> I mean, she invested, so. I know. I'm joking. Calm down. Don't get all butt hurt. But, right. But that's my favorite way to be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nick Marks, calm down. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, <laughs> and for our subscribers, Freezing Twin, Notorious Twist, Pop Rock, Sunflower. El Hef Phoenix, Brian, 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 what I don't know what the hell that is, and four one two AC three, which I'm pretty sure that's Rob's brother. It's either his brother or his brother's girlfriend. That's my brother. Also, you got to add synergy to that list because mm. Phoenix gifted him a sub. Yes, during today's show. Yes. And something Phoenix graciously gifted one to Synergy. You know, and we've also had over the past two shows a bunch of bits come in. You know, from Sunflower, Alana, um, Sunflower, Alana, Pop Rocks, Alana. I think Pop Rocks was last stream. Yeah. Well, I mean, we didn't even really touch on it last stream either. Um, <laughs> But, you know, we want to thank you guys for that, too. You know, even even the, the littlest bit helps us uh, immensely. And it all goes back into the show. You know, we're not pocketing any of this. A.K.A. Rob's wallet. Just so yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish. <laughs> I wish. We got we got to pay him somehow. I'm, Strident Layers would work. <laughs> he, get, he gets mad when you don't let him underneath or let him have his little cupboard underneath the stairs. I mean, we can't continuously treat him like Harry Potter, okay? <laughs> it's great. Just grab that. That's why Robbie's he shaved his head. That's why he shaved his head. We can't grab him by the back of his hair anymore and drag Robbie's him the back free to the room. He's free. I know. <laughs> It's like he needs All to right. touch up right. on it again. I just did it the day. I wish I could be bald, but I can't. It's smooth. It's actually smooth. It's just. Oh. I should. I should, but I'm not taking my hat off. It... My hair's beautiful. It's okay. I got newscaster held here. I know. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping by, watching to us, list, list, watching, listening. However, you do indulge in this shit show that it is. I was going to say tolerating the shit show that is always the beginning of the show. Always. Right. Like, it, it, if it goes right, then something's going to go horribly wrong later. At least we know robot voice restart Streamlabs. Right, yeah. I, and I, I mean, honestly, I should restart Streamlabs before we go live every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know what? If we have a smooth opening, that's when 20 minutes in, Rob's like, ah, shit, we're dropping frames. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we figured we, we, we figured a lot of that out, too. So. Yeah. But, again, thank you, everybody, for stopping by, watching, and listening to us ramble. Um, we appreciate every one of you. The biggest okay. thing you could do to help us, though, is get our name out there. Like, subscribe, share, you know, tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell, 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 tell people you don't like, tell do everybody, for attention. tell everybody, you know, we, 
Word of mouth advertising. Help us yes. climb the chart so I can start punching at these butter soft streamers. <laughs> help run that would be the best reason for you to help us grow. So I can start climbing them ranks like the old Mortal Kombat Tower. And we will do it live. We need it. We need to make some merch. So when I go down to Florida, I can have something to wear. There's merch. We, it just This pandemic fucked a lot of our merch up. Like yeah, some- yeah I, I mean, I keep seeing the emails that, oh, we're out of this. We're out of that. This is delayed. That's behind. Um. Yeah. So actually our Streamlabs merch, which... There's a link somewhere on here for it. I don't know how Streamlabs fucking works. Um. <laughs> it's not exactly a great thing to hear after we just bought the pro version. No, no, right. no. I just have to give some shit. Um, yeah. There's there's a button somewhere. I I don't know. Um, oh, the merch button takes us to our store where you can buy t shirt at um stickers coffee mugs hoodie but this t-shirt is not available right now the beanies are not available right now um yeah it's 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 bullshit streamlabs does a better um they do a better job but it's weird because like if you go to streamlabs.com slash point streaming you can go and access our merch and stuff that we have on there because we have a backpack a hoodie a t-shirt actually those t-shirts are a little different because they actually have our logo with our animated characters on the sleeve <laughs> um, and I'll throw that up in chat yeah. Uh. <laughs> or just come check out all of our socials yep. um, I, I don't think there's a link to it on our Twitter um, I don't know about Instagram I'm still figuring that one out because Boomer um, but I know it's up on our Facebook what? because like I said Boomer mm-hmm. I know we have a command for socials Well, Nightbot doesn't care, Rob. Okay. I'm noticing. But anyways. Oh, Linktree. That's right. Our Linktree has everything but the Streamlabs one, and that'll be fixed tonight. So come check us out. Join our socials, chat, and we'll catch you guys at the Warp Point. Peace. Peace.